Well, good morning and welcome back to our fabulous final segment here on City Line. As I said before the break, we've gone from a musical playhouse to uh, Tacoma Athletic Commission presents the Golden, Golden Gloves Boxing Tournament. And I love this segment. Um, and we have uh, three people who are here to talk about um, this event in this program and the first person is no stranger to any of us here in Tacoma and I challenge you when you see this man not to hug him love him and walk away <laughs> feeling so much better than when you walked up Mr. Tony Anderson welcome back thank you Amanda it's great to be here especially for the reason that we're here today Absolutely. Now, I want to remind folks that you are the Tacoma Athletic Commission past president and the, and the 70th Golden Gloves honoree. You never yeah. stop, do you? I don't have time to stop. I know. Things are busy. But and you're retired and you're still doing all I this. I am because, because what's important in our community is our youth. Yes. Dedrick and everyone else involved in the, go in the boxing program is important. Absolutely. Speaking of, good morning, Dedrick. Hi. You are Dedrick uh, Crocklin, and Dedrick, you have the honor of being a two-time junior Golden Glove National Boxing Champion. My goodness. We're going to find out about what school you go to, how old you are, how long you've been boxing, what inspires you. I can't wait to get to the real important stuff, but I gotta talk about the grown-ups first, okay? So just hang in there with me. <laughs> and this very warm, loving man who um, carries a lot of wisdom with him, Mr. Tom Mustin, welcome back. Good to Honored to be you. here. Good to have you here. You are the Tacoma Boxing Club head coach uh, and the 2000 Olympic boxing head coach as well. So thank you for making time to be here. All right, let's get into it because um, I know that some people are surprised to find out that we have this in our community. So Tony, um, let's talk about you're the three-time past president of the Tacoma Athletic Commission. The commission does a lot to promote and recognize athletes in our community. What is your mission statement in this? Well, our goal is to promote sports and civic betterment. Mm -hmm. So the 76 years that Tacoma Athletic Commission's been here in our community, that's exactly what we've done. Um, over time, things morph and things change a little bit. Um, so promoting these young amateur athletes is extremely important. Our student athletes from all 33 high schools in Tacoma Pierce County is very important to the TAC. Um, we have our recognition program that's the athlete of the month. We do it now once a quarter because it's more difficult to kid, get the young people out of class. Yes. Um, we honor all the boys and all the girls in the various sports once a quarter now. At the end of our year, we, we honor the athletes of the year. Mm. And Meg and Tom Names have been so generous in their estate to sponsor this event every single year and provide the scholarship money to our boy male athlete and our female athlete mm -hmm. of the year to help them get further with their education. Absolutely. Which is extremely important. And this yes. is what I've told Dedrick is that as he gets older, mm. remember, academics are extremely important. And I think you're going to learn from Dedrick what his GPA is. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Coach Mustin, uh, you're the head coach at the Tacoma Boxing Club, and you have received hundreds of awards locally and nationally. Um, but you say the highlight of your career was being selected for the Olympic head boxing coach for the team. You're right. I think. What was the experience like? Um, every amateur coach. Uh, strives to try to be an Olympic coach and that's the highest you can go in in, in the amateur world uh, to be an Olympic coach. So I was selected in 2000. It's hard to believe it was 19 years ago yes. now. But uh, I stopped coaching on the national level at that time and I'm trying to get these young boxers that I have coming up uh, in enough shape uh, it's skilled enough to make an Olympic team their own selves. 
Oh, I love that. And boy, and being, being that coach for the Olympics certainly gave you that vision and you bring it back home to us mm -hmm. every single day. Thank you so much for that. So, um, Dedrick, this is time for you and I to chat for a bit now and we get to ignore these two. So, first off, Dedrick, how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. And how did you get involved in boxing? Um, I was a bad kid, like I wasn't, I would go outside and people would try to fight with me. And I went to my uncle's house one day and he told me would I rather be stupid enough to get put in jail for fighting or I put my hands registered and do boxing. Wow, your uncle's a smart man. How old were you when your uncle said that to you? I was nine years old. Nine years old. So did you start boxing when you were nine? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. So, and now you have won two titles and, but you don't, don't you don't box 24 hours a day. You go to school, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Where do you attend school, Dedrick? Truman Middle School. And you are in seventh, eighth grade? Eighth. Eighth grade. And uh, as Tony said, he always says to you, academics are very important. So what kind of grades do you get? All A's and B's. Say it again. All A's and B's. Oh my gosh. You are impressive. Mm -hmm. You do more than what adults do on a daily basis. I, I do one thing, and I think I get an A in it every single day, but I don't leave here and go boxing and win another title. What has surprised you the most about boxing, Dedrick? What surprised me the most? Um, the workout. The workout? Yeah. Is it how hard it is? Yes. Yeah. Who inspires you? Um, my mom, my dad, my coach. Oh, Dedrick, you inspire yeah. me. Thank you mm -hmm. so, so very much for that. Well, as always, time seems to just crunch on us here. Uh, I have three minutes left. So, Tony, what do you want to share with us? Well, first of all, I want to thank all of the sponsors. Mm -hmm that help us each year. Because yes. without them, this event cannot take place. I want the community to know this, that all the money, every penny that is made goes to the Tacoma Boxing Club to help these young people get to their tournaments, their budget throughout the year, and send our team from the state of Washington to Las Vegas for the regional tournament. The other thing I want everyone to know is that our 71st honoree this year is Mr. Jason Kors from Dwyer, Pemberton and Colson and an accounting firm here in Tacoma. Dwyer, Pemberton and Colson have been involved with our program now for I think 15 or 16 years and always giving hmm. to help us get these young people um, to where they need to go as good adults and good human beings as they grow up. Yes. because every person and every young person in our community is important. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. Absolutely. So, Coach Mustin, I'm going to end the show with a question for you. You have been such an amazing, positive influence on many of our youth. How can our viewers help you? Um, by coming out to the Golden Gloves. Uh, uh, this is something I've been doing since 1974. And this is going to be the 71st Golden Gloves. And it's amazing that the Golden Gloves has been around this long. And we're the longest running Golden Gloves uh, west of the Mississippi. Wow. And we're just a step behind Chicago and a couple of years behind New York. That's impressive. Because, Very impressive. Because th those, those are high bars to be up against. All right. But it's because of the dedication to everyone that's been involved with the program. And most importantly... Coach Tom Mustin and his assistant, Mr. Emmett Linton. Mm -hmm. Without their involvement and dedication, this program would not be here. Dedrick would not be a two-time nope. junior national champion, future Golden Gloves champion, maybe future world champion, but most importantly, he'll be a champion. Regardless. Regardless. Yeah. Yeah, you've already, you've already won the game there, Dedrick. You, you figured it out. And what you're learning in that ring 
will take you a long way outside of that ring of life. So however far you go, in my mind, you've won. You are, your future is so bright. It's amazing. Thank you, all three of you, for being here today. I want an hour with you, and we're going to work on that. So thank you so, so much for the legacy, for the hope, um, and for the uh, traditions that you carry forward here in Tacoma. Um, and, and congratulations to all three of you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It's always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. We've given you some really great things to think about. So please go out there, be a part of the tapestry, and above all, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care. Mm -hmm.